does your PC look like this? Or maybe you don't even have a gaming PC. Maybe you got some crappy $10 laptop, you bought it at a garage sale or at a thrift shop, but you wanna play Path of Exile 2 so badly. What are you gonna do? Well, if you stick around in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can play Path of Exile 2 right now for free and actually have the game be playable no matter what kind of hardware you're using. Doesn't matter, as long as you got an internet connection, I don't even think you need a computer for this. I'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna do, stick with me. All right, step one, you're going to search up online for GeForce Now. You're gonna do all the usual stuff, log in, sign up, create an account, and then you're gonna go ahead and go to download and you're gonna go ahead and download for Windows or Mac or whatever. Uh, you can also do this in a web browser, which is honestly pretty amazing. And once you do that, you're gonna open up the app and you're gonna have have this app on your computer. You're gonna navigate and go ahead and search up Path of Exile 2. You're gonna go ahead and hit the play button and we're gonna go ahead and get this started. And this is what you're gonna see. Some advertisements are gonna start playing. You're gonna have to watch a couple ads. It usually lasts for a couple minutes. Wow, they even let you mute the commercials. That's actually pretty, pretty nice. I didn't even realize that. So we're gonna mute the commercials. Okay, we started with about 280 people waiting in line. You are in a queue waiting to be able to start playing the game on an NVIDIA, kind of sort of a gaming computer that they're basically gonna just let you have and use and play for up to one hour. And we're gonna send our inputs from our controller or our keyboard or mouse, whatever, and they're gonna send us the image of the game being played. It actually works pretty well. Obviously, I've been using this for a little while now, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. Right now, my local time, 6.15 on a Saturday. This is gonna take a while when you're in peak times. Let's go ahead and start with some, we're gonna start with lots of cons of this service right from the get-go. But before we go any farther, let me go ahead and shout out something here, okay? If we go to membership on their website, they basically have three tiers of service. By the way, beggars can't be choosers. So this video is for the beggars of us, people who just literally, you got no money, you got nothing. You can't do anything, but all you have is you have some kind of a screen in front of you and you wanna play PoE2. Somehow you got the $30 entry into it, but you got no other money other than that. There's three tiers that this thing has. We're gonna be using the free tier, but you know, just because the free tier has lots of problems, I think the performance and ultimate are gonna be a lot better. I fully plan on, on testing at least the full ultimate highest one. And by the way, I have to shout this out now for people who are still here. If you become interested in the service, this is super important. If you subscribe in 2024, you get unlimited playtime for all of 2025. They're actually introducing a cap to how much you can play on the service to only 100 hours per month, even if you pay for the service. So if you so if you're at all interested in this, you better start looking into it. Finish finish out this video with me. I'll show you how so far how it is on the free service. All right, we are right at eight o'clock p.m. now. So from 6:15 to eight o'clock, we have gone down to finally seven. These last couple digits, man, it can take a really long time on these peak days. And okay, okay, almost there, you're next, we're next in line. Two hours, it took two hours to get through the queue. Okay, we're in, okay, we're in, it's loading. It's, it's loading in, here we go. Okay, we're in, oh my gosh, here we go. All right, it's 8.30 exactly. It took two hours and 15 minutes to get in. That's basically what you can expect on any time kind of peak America time. I don't know about the times when I'm asleep, but Basically peak America times, really long waits. I'm actually next, I'm gonna actually record how long it takes. I'm starting a stopwatch right now to see how long it takes us to get past some of these loading screens. It eats up a huge amount of your hour. It, so if you press control G once you're in here, let's press control G. If you look up on the top left, you'll see session time remaining. One minute of our time has already been eaten. Okay, so we got past the first screen. It took a minute and 15 seconds, not terrible. Okay, next next uh, annoyance that you're gonna have to deal with every single time you do this is when you try to log in, it's gonna tell you every time that when you log in, you're logging in from a new location, please re-enter your password. And then every single time when you enter your password again and you hit enter, then it's gonna tell you your account has been locked because it has been accessed from another location. You're using all these random server boxes, whatever they are from Nvidia, and it's considered a new location every single time you log in, eating more of your hour up. It's just something you have to deal with. Okay, next minor annoyance. As soon as you get in here, if you press A, if you're a controller player, every single time I press A to try to get my character selected, it always thinks that I'm doing player one, player two. I don't know why, I only have one controller plugged in. I'm just hitting A. So if you're a controller player like me, you have to hit A to get into the screen and then you have to use your mouse to actually load into the game. Okay, now I'm starting another stopwatch to see how long is it gonna take me to load into this area, the Temple of Chaos here. Okay, finally we're in. Okay, that took one minute. So we've taken about two to three minutes just getting past the initial load screens and the login. And you can see we're in, we're playing the game. Okay, it basically looks okay. Not amazing, but it looks kind of all right. Not not too bad, right? L let me show you what this looks like. Just 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 the speed of these all these loading screens that you're gonna have to deal with. So I'm gonna do a few loading screens. I'm gonna tell you how long it takes to get through each one. 
the quest screen. Let's see how long this takes. All right, that took about 15 seconds just to open that screen. Let's say I want to go to town. Let's see how long that takes. This one could be a little bit, so I got my timer set and we'll check back. All right, still waiting. Okay, we're in. All right, that took 45 seconds for that to load, finally load in. So, you know, let's say you started in a zone, you decided you need to go back and do a run to town, and then you needed to actually go where you wanted to go. So like right now, um, this Jaquanis. Okay, let's do another timer here. And you know, this isn't totally atypical. You know, you start a session, maybe you wanna go back to town, you know, do some stuff, and then go to the actual zone that you need to go to. These loading times are just so bad on the GeForce Now free tier. It is gonna eat so much of your time. All right, we're almost there. It's about 45 seconds again. We're at 45 seconds on the dot. All right, and it took 50 seconds and we're in. All right, so this is the GeForce Now free tier, okay? Any computer, PC, basically anything you could possibly use that you would have to do this, this is what you're gonna get. Let's look at our, our frames when we just log in here. All right, we're getting 60 frames per second. Look at that, we're getting 60 FPS. So literally any computer you have, you can just log into this and you could be getting 60 frames per second. Isn't that pretty, it's actually pretty awesome. This video is gonna be totally filled with complaints, but I honestly think this is a really cool, amazing service for people who it actually makes sense to use. Maybe you're in a particular life situation where you really need something like this. Something happened, like your desktop just broke and crashed and you just, you have no option to play tonight and you just need something to just log in and play because you just really want to play. And of course, I think this this service really what it realistically is, it's it's a stopgap solution. It's something that you would do probably temporarily or really it's just basically kind of a trial to basically see if you want to maybe pay the five or 10 or 20 bucks a month to get the actual real service. Or if you're absolutely in a pinch, then you might use this. OK, let's look at our frames now. This is just regular old real normal gameplay. Everyone, I'm going to play through the entirety of Act 3 using this GeForce Now free service. So I'm giving you a real test. I'm sciencing this out for everybody, just in case this is going to help everybody. So feel free to hit me with a like down below if you appreciate the, the effort I'm putting in on this. I don't know how many people this is going to be useful for, but I actually feel like for a fair amount of people, this could be useful. Let's say you're um, upgrading your PC and you know you need you just need a solution for like a week maybe some again something happened your pc broke and you're waiting for a part to come in fix hop hop on to geforce now i feel like this is going to be really valuable um just a resource for, for everyone to know about whether whether you're sitting there with a 480 computer that's just amazing and you get 10,000 frames per second and you're like i'll never need to use this well what happens when your pc just randomly suddenly breaks and you have nothing this actually could be pretty useful and it's actually been kind of useful for me. I'm actually going to planning again. I'm planning I'm paying for the service. So so this is basically what it looks like. You can see in this zone, I'm getting actually quite good FPS. And every time you log in, you can just go to options and you can see what you ended up with. OK, so all I ended up with actually here is is literally just a 1060, a GTX 1060 graphics card, which is you know a little bit older and, and not super high end, but it's getting the job done. All right, so I'm basically gonna play through the entirety of Act 3. I think I'm about maybe halfway through or so. This is actually my first playthrough. I'm playing through this whole thing, first playthrough on GeForce Now free, just to test it out and let you all know and give you the pros and cons. All right, so I actually got a report back right now on just this playthrough. Look at my frames per second. This right here is the same session. This is it. This is the session that we started this video on. And um, wow, I mean, so smooth. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is actually like, basically one of the most smooth uh, play sessions I've had since I started using it. Again, I'm assuming I'm probably around halfway through Act 3. I mean, yeah, you can you can look at the frames. Um, really good, really good. It's, you know, the frames are, are totally dependent on what the zone is and all sorts of other factors. But wow, I'm really impressed by this specific session. This is just absolutely insane. So I've been using this GeForce Now free tier for about three or four days. Like I said, I'm about probably halfway through the act. I'm gonna finish this act all the way through. So far, my overall experience is it's totally smooth. If you're okay with like 30 frames per second, because, you know, let's face it, you can play the game totally smoothly with like 30 frames per second. I'm streaming this. Look look at the quality of this. I'm actually streaming at 30 frames per second right now. So if you pr press control N, uh, whenever you're in this, if you press control N, you can actually see some statistics about your play session. So because my internet has been kind of met, it, well, it's just not good internet. If you look at this, my streaming, so it's actually streaming it to me at 30 frames per second. And yet my experience, absolutely, totally smooth, totally smooth. And this has been one of the best sessions I've ever had on GeForce Now is this one right now that we just started this video on. But I've done quite a few sessions before this. 
and you know it gets a little shaky maybe this zone is just is just a good zone for showing it i'll show some other areas where it's not quite so good in act three there's the second trial of ascension you know like the trial of sekimas this is the second trial in act three maybe you can't do it in one hour you get timed out by the g-force now maybe you can't get back in right away let's just test out and see what happens and i look i mean just look, look at the fps it just it's just every every few feet i move 10 fps down 10 fps down 10 fps down now we're at it went to 50 then 40 now we're at 30 that's not horrible oh there there we go now we're at 20 and now like just oh i actually felt some decent lag there for a minute but uh it was pretty bad in the last round it was pretty much hovering around 20 frames per second all right so right now i've got basically about one minute left i'm entering into a new trial of chaos here and then in 10 seconds we're gonna run out of time and ending in three two one zero I feel like this is a scenario you could definitely run into. You're doing like a trial of chaos or something and you run out of time where you actually need like a, maybe a full hour. Maybe you want to take some breaks. All right, it's been two hours. We are logging back in after about a 30 minute queue. And this is where we get put. So we are officially put out of the trial. Fortunately in this game, I don't think there's going to be anything that requires over an hour. I'll do one more test just to, for y'all. For science, you're welcome. I mean, this is my first time doing a trial of chaos. I'm assuming you can complete the whole thing 10 rounds within one hour. If you had like a really slow build and you were going really slowly and cautiously, this might actually be fairly tough to complete within the one hour time limit. Okay, we're at round three. All right, so we're gonna simulate as if this is actually happening. This is round three, We've got five seconds left and I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna keep it on this pause, one second left. We were at round th three. Okay, we're back in. We're back in after a freaking one and a half hour queue. Here we go. All right, and here we are, we are back. It looks like you can't get back in, unfortunately. So the Sekima, Trial of the Sekima and the Trial of Chaos, oh man, a little tough maybe. So if you wanna do stuff like the Trial of Chaos, um, you're gonna have to get it done basically within the one hour. All right, let's try this one more time, just in case there's anyone out here who's actually gonna try to use this uh, free GeForce now. Let's see if we can actually get a run in across two one hour sessions. So I've got about five minutes left now, but the queue times aren't super long. All right, here it comes. We got five seconds. Okay, I can still play the game while that's on the screen. Okay. All right, let's try to get back in. All right, we're back in. It's been, it's only been about five minutes, so maybe this is going to work. Let's see. By the way, every once in a while, I get this weird bug, I guess, where the game is in like the bottom right corner. It's all totally off center. It's really weird. Oh no, I got kicked out. Wow. How about that? Oh my gosh, there's no way. Okay, it's been less than 10 minutes. It's been less than 10 minutes. I think it's been, it's been somewhere I think between five and 10 minutes. I was able to get past the queue in about three minutes. It took maybe about two minutes after that to get in and it booted me out. Okay, and the one in a million chance that somebody's actually <laughs> decides to use this and they get the similar issue. Um, I actually just went into the mode, changed it to full screen. And uh, when you do that, it actually fixes that issue. So that's nice. And then I can actually switch it back to windowed full screen, which is what it was on before and it's basically fixed. All right, y'all, let's start wrapping this video up and getting to some conclusions here. Uh, some things have changed since I started filming the video. I'll explain it all as we conclude right now and wrap up this video since I don't want it to be a million hours long. So first things first, I have changed one thing. Oh, uh, this is a GeForce Now free edition video, but if you'll notice, my display is now set to a GeForce RTX 4080. So I have, I tried to make it all the way to the end of Act 3. I almost did it, but it was taking me so long to make this video to put it out that I I finally caved and I uh, upgraded to the ultimate plan, which is about 10 or 20 bucks a month. And on this plan, we've got this nice RTX 4080, which is an insane, super expensive graphics card. And I did what I could. I made it as far as I could. So actually, if you all are interested and you want to see a review of the ultimate tier instead of the free tier, that'll be coming in the future after I play on this for, I don't know, about a month or so. The queue times, they just finally got to me. They were just too long, but I did make it almost all the way through. I really did do my best. And I never went back to do the Trial of Chaos, but I did beat it on a different character for the first time and I realized it's only four parts. I thought it was going to be 10 parts because for some reason it says like one out of 10, two out of three, four out of 10, etc. So the trial of chaos is definitely going to be doable. No doubt about it on a free tier. But you know, eventually when you do get to that point where you actually have to do 10 out of 10 parts of the trial of chaos, then yeah, it could start getting a little problematic. Similarly with the trial of Sekimus could start getting a little problematic depending on where that ends up.
Anyway, let's go ahead and wrap with my final conclusion. So I'll just say exactly what I said kind of at the start of the video. I think it's a basically a beggars can't be chooser situation. I think it's both kind of amazing and awful at the same time. The queue times are insanely long. The load times are insanely long. Now the queue times totally depend on what time of day you're playing. If you're playing in America peak hours, just forget about it. The queue is going to take like one, two, three, four hours. And then when it gets to the end of the queue time, half the time in peak hours, it just told me there was a mysterious error and I couldn't play. I'm sure the mysterious error was they just didn't want to give me a rig, but that's just something I'm alleging. Performance wise, it played quite well. Uh, you know, I got a pretty much a consistent 30 to 60 frames per second on just about every zone. I had some issues in the Trial of Chaos, but on my own rig, I was also having some issues on the Trial of Chaos with my other character, especially when the textures aren't loading, the enemies aren't visible. I had the exact same problem on my regular rig. As I mentioned, the one hour playtime restriction, it's going to obviously impose some limitations. But, you know, if, if you're literally just borrowing some mega corporation's free computer with a free, pretty decent graphics card for an hour, you basically just have to say thank you and, you know, take what you can get. So again, beggars can't be choosers. You're going to take what you can get. Maybe your computer got struck by lightning for some reason. Maybe it fell out of your car when you were driving and all you have is like some crappy laptop or some other way to play the game. And this could honestly be kind of a godsend, I feel like, for some people. Ultimately, for me, playing through almost all of Act 3, the experience I had simply wasn't that bad. It was really just not bad at all. In a lot of areas, it was just totally smooth. The game looked fine. And I really didn't have a lot of issues. I basically got what I paid for, which was, of course, nothing. If you do end up using GeForce now, you do may need to mess with some of the internet settings. I did spend some time also messing with the internet settings to get it to work also with my internet, which isn't so great. That's something I could do a future video on. If anyone's interested in that, let me know. Let me just put this reminder out one more time. There is a thing going on where if you are, if this, if this video has at all piqued your interest in GeForce now, I had to switch to the ultimate tier tonight to just finish this video. I just decided it was taking me too long to get this video out. So I wanted to stop here so that people can go ahead and and get a little taste of this in case this actually might be something they're interested in doing the ultimate tier because again in 2025 they're going to start limiting the amount of playtime people can have because frankly it is a very good deal and they probably are giving it away actually a little bit too cheaply right now for unlimited playtime so they're going to start restricting the amount of playtime people can have on the service but if you register for it now in 2024 so you've got basically about one to two days when i release this video i'm going to try to release it tomorrow morning all right and with that i'll call it a wrap do let me know what you think about these types of videos i I am planning on doing every once in a while from now on some performance hardware GeForce Now type videos. Like I said, I'll put a review out of the GeForce Now Ultimate after I've played on it for quite a while. Since I'll say this just for the last time, I do think these services are going to be a powerful option for people in certain life situations. So let me know what you think about me putting some of this information out here. We'll return to the more normal like uh, flipping and just general gameplay videos uh, very shortly, but do expect these to be in the mix every once in a while.